Are you just gonna stay on top of me? Cause I can't <laughs> I can't go anywhere, buddy. Since we have a little bit of sun today, it's making it easier for me to function. I have decided I'm going to spring clean the van. So we have three loads in the wash right now and I have to put another one in and then another one in after that but after I change someone wash this because that's how OCD I get when I do laundry. I just want to really make the van feel, look and smell like it's brand new. I just started cleaning and uh, spot popped out sitting under the van hey come here come here come here well come here good girl okay good girl okay let's go in the van Why are you going back in, bud? You've been out for two seconds. Come on. Ugh. Well, I gotta get in there because I gotta clean. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna throw this out. So if you don't know, I had wrapped, this is a fridge, an electric fridge, which I had wrapped in um, insula insulating foam. Um, and this was, this came with it. Um, the idea was to insulate it so that it uses less electricity. However, I'm not even using it right now. If I remove that, it's a half an inch on each side, or actually, sorry, it's an inch on each side. So that's two inches of space that I would get, like uh, width wise or whatever. So I want to, I think, yeah, I just, I don't like it. I'm going to take it off. That looks so much better. One of the annoying things about the way I set this up is that as I'm driving, things fly towards the front and then they just kind of push everything in the van forward. And uh, yeah, I haven't really been able to do much about it through the winter because it's been too cold to open the doors. Like, I don't want that. I don't want like minus 20 getting in the van like this. I'm trying to preserve the heat, you know? This is how cool I am, guys. This binder, I don't know which one, there we go. These are all my Marvel cards from like forever ago. I shouldn't be posting this because now I'm gonna get robbed. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I had a bunch of comics too, like really good comics that I was keeping because they appreciate in value, right? And I'm pretty sure that my mother threw them out or she hid them somewhere. So that's pretty sad. But at least I still have my cards. Super nostalgic. I was mega into Marvel. Like before the movies, before all this, all the Gen Zers got hooked on it and all that. I was, yep, that's me. Super nerd. <laughs> I'm like already tired. I've been doing this forever. And all I did so far was um, that, this whole area here, cleaned the steps and like the floors and the door. And then I did some organization in the back. That's why the back door is open. And um, oh God, there's just still so much to do. And it's getting kind of late, which means it's going to get dark uh, at some point. <laughs> and it's going to get colder. And I'm really not... Like, I don't wanna, yeah. So priority number one is to get the sheets on the bed cause sleeping is gonna happen. Okay, he's leaving. See this guy here? He was standing by these carriages and just staring at me for like a good five minutes. And it was creeping me out and I couldn't find my phone. Like that's how close it is, it's really not far. And I couldn't find my phone because it was behind my jacket and I was freaking out because I felt unsafe. It's probably nothing, but this is like the first time that I really felt like 
oh my god, what if something happens? What am I gonna do? And I'm in broad daylight by a by like a highly trafficy street. <sighs> We're making some progress, I think. The thing that annoys me now still, still annoys me, because now at least I have a place where I can put the toilet paper and paper towels and stuff, um, is that the jerry cans are back here. And the jerry cans are very heavy when they're full. Oh, that bottle needs to go. And um, so pulling them out and putting them back in here is a real pain in the butt. And I would love to figure something out for the future. And Nala got out of her harness. <laughs> oh my God, thank you for not running away, my dear. Okay, I packed up the trash and everything else. Nice and clear. Not leaving anything behind. Closed up. I'm gonna go dump the trash and then I'm gonna tend to the sheets in the bed because I am still not done. But I think we made quite a bit of progress. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but because of all this mess here, but I'll show you in a bit. Also, so I'm like a hot mess and I had my stuff everywhere. And I've, I actually met two of my subscribers today. That's so cool. Like I'm not even monetized yet. My channel's still so small. Thank you guys for stopping by. That was really, really cool. I really appreciate it. And yes, we will totally see each other again. And uh, girl, I'm coming over for that beer. <laughs> also worth mentioning is I broke the Berkey. Um, how did I break the Berkey, you ask? Well, first of all, um, it used to be tied up here. Then I untied it to bring it in the RV, um, uh, in the camp or whatever, for the road trip. When I got back, I didn't tie it back right away. And at some point, so I had it on the ground, but at some point I put it on the counter to make room and I forgot to take it down and I drove away and it flew off and so the um well I think I threw them out already but the the charcoal filters so those are the fluoride filters the charcoal filters snapped um and like there's the piece that broke off so they snapped off and now I have to buy new charcoal filters and I don't even have an address right now that I can access. So until I do, I can't use the Berkey. Super great. I put the sheets on the bed, but I still didn't really make it because I'm running out of energy. I didn't even put the pillowcases on the pillows. Um, I figure I'll just do that <laughs> when I go to bed. But now I have to like wash myself <laughs> so that I don't dirty all the beautiful clean sheets and I'm really running low on energy. I don't want to do it. I just want to go to bed but I'm... no that's gross. I'm not going to do that either. Oh god. I am not in trouble, but the cops just came to ask me if I saw a specific car or heard it. Um, long story short, he tried to kidnap a girl a few blocks from here, maybe 10 minutes ago or a half hour ago, something like that. So I'm going to, because if he's hiding from them, he's going to see them coming. So I'm going to go drive around now and see if I spot this car. So I've been driving around now, and I am now lost. Thankfully I have my GPS, so I'll be okay. <laughs> so I just got back to my parking spot, uh, the place that I'm basically trying to park for the night. And I uh, drove around for about a half hour, maybe longer. Didn't see anything, pretty obviously. that you know, low chances that I would actually catch the guy. Um, but obviously I'm going to keep my eye out from now on because if he doesn't get stopped tonight then he will be out again part of me kind of wants to just walk around a bit I'm not going to but I'm just saying it has crossed my mind to walk around a bit like bait I know that's pretty stupid and dangerous <laughs> Oh 
Whatever works. So I took my little sponge bath. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so precious. Oh.